Hi, my name's Simon Delaney and I'm a tutor and client director with Rada Business. Normally I'm delivering training in fairly large airy rooms with lots of space for people to move around. And working from home is something that I'm quite used to actually, but not normally with my three kids running around, making noise, having needs. So there are some good things to working from home, but there are also some significant challenges. When we talk about storytelling, it's very common for people to link story with, say, narrative. So once upon a time, dot, dot, dot. At Rada Business, we absolutely work with narrative and help people with narrative, but our definition of story is broader. So when we talk about story, really what we're talking about is how can you create an emotional connection with your audience? So how can you go beyond the facts, the data and the information and really touch the emotions and the feelings of your audience. So anything that does that, we call storytelling. Here's an exercise to help you with storytelling. When you're rehearsing your story, give yourself permission to do the biggest, most exaggerated version of your story that you pray the world will never see. By that I mean physically, vocally, be bigger than you dare to ever normally be. For example, if there are words that you think are really important for your audience to hear, you might want to throw them across the room or you might want to stamp your foot or engage yourself physically on those words. And what you'll find is that by rehearsing like that, when you then come to deliver the story for real, the residue of that exercise will still be with you and you'll be able to connect that much more fully with your audience. Put your audience at the centre of everything that you're doing. Without an audience, you wouldn't be telling the story. So they are the most important people in the room. So really be specific about what do you want your audience to feel as a result of your story? Maybe what do you want them to do as a result of that story? So whether you are presenting some data or a report at a board meeting, or maybe you're addressing your team, or in a one-to-one -one with your manager or a team member, Emotional connection with your audience is absolutely critical. Sometimes when we, we talk about storytelling for business, it's almost like there is this mystical thing that we need to adapt. And, and of course, we need to tell relevant business-related stories. But remember, we're still talking to people. People have feelings and emotions. They look for connection with other people. So the rules of the game may be slightly different in business, but the ultimate impact we're trying to have is exactly the same. We're trying to engage people emotionally to make them care.